All right, so we know that if we start with position, take derivative, we have velocity. If we take derivative of velocity, we have acceleration. But there's another derivative we can look at that's related to all of those, and it's the third derivative from the position function, which is the derivative right under acceleration. It's called a jerk. And a jerk is a sudden change in the acceleration. Um, the jerk is what spills your coffee drink or your tea drink or your Coke or Sonic or whatever. A jerk is what spills the drink in your car. All right, And that's what the third derivative of a function is called. It's called a jerk. So um, one, of the, one of the things that's just kind of fun to look at is, is how a jerk works. Um, and so if you, if you think about gravity, okay, gravity um, has a constant acceleration of negative 32 feet per second squared. Um, what about if we took the derivative of that? Now remember that is acceleration. So if I if I take this acceleration function right here of negative 32 feet per second squared and I look at the derivative of that I get 0 feet per second squared. Well what does that mean? It, it just simply means that there's not a lot of bumpiness going on while we're sitting still on the earth. Uh, there's not a lot of bumpiness going on when you're falling. Uh, I know sometimes friction, but uh, if we just looked at the, at the falling of an object and only based it on the acceleration of gravity, it's not going to suddenly jerk around and change directions. Everything is smooth. Um, your book really says it best. I'm going to look at your book here. This explains why we don't experience motion sickness while just sitting around. Imagine being stuck in your desk all the time, and uh, as you're sitting in your desk, you, you just you're, you're bouncing or changing direction. Um, that could be pretty brutal. Okay, but because the acceleration of gravity is 32 feet per second and not some fancy, fancy, fancy equation, when you take the derivative of that, you get zero for your your jerk, and it wouldn't be feet per second squared. I think it'd be feet per second cubed. I'll have to look that one up now. Now I've got myself confused. So anyway, I'm going to erase this guy. But our jerk, in any case, would be zero. So what is the jerk of the previous simple harmonic motion problem? Um, and what does that mean? Well, that previous simple harmonic motion problem, uh, if we look at it, if we can go back to it, um, we were looking at uh, an acceleration that said uh, negative 5 cosine t. So if we look at the derivative of that, uh, we would end up with um, negative 5 times the derivative of cosine, which is 5 sine t. And, and so that would be the jerk function for your simple harmonic motion problem. What does that mean? Well, it just tells us when we're going to have that change of direction uh, because of the acceleration. You know, when our acceleration has that sudden change in direction. Um, and it only ex um, doesn't occur at the extremes of the displacement. Okay, so in other words, when you are at your widest points, it's not changing. But it when, when the acceleration changes from the rest. That's where you're going to have this jerk in, in this change in direction. So there's your jerk uh, rule, third derivative, kind of fun thing to look at.